Hey everybody, it's Alicia from Graceful Plants, and today I am consolidating all of my succulents. And working to try and clean up the table on our sun porch so that we're actually able to enjoy dinners out so, here again. If you've seen my last two videos, which I really hope you have, and if you haven't, go back and check them out. They're okay. So today, for whatever reason, I decided today was the day that I was going to fix that and clean the table off and put together some semi-decent arrangements. I'm no professional, but I mean, I don't think they look terrible. Uh, but I have been at this since nine o'clock this morning. It is now, I believe, almost four. Uh, it's been a long day. There have been lots of messes created, lots of spills, lots of broken leaves, a few tears. I'm raising the white flag. <laughs> I give up. I was trying really hard to only have one nice arrangement, but so I was thinking about putting this Lola in here because I think she would fit and fill up that space pretty nicely. So I'm gonna get her out of here. So before I start knocking too much soil off of this guy, you can tell that she's been overwatered. There's a lot of mushy leaves under here. Um, it's normal for you know, your succulent leaves to dry up and die on the lower side of your succulent. That's normal, that's good, but these, they're squishy. You can tell that they've been overwatered. Um, and then if I can turn this without dropping too much of this nasty soil on my table. You can see that there's a pretty good sized little baby over here. So. so I got the baby off of that Lola and it does have a few roots on it. So that's cool. I mean, it's going to be a little stretched out, but who cares? Free plant, two for one. Yeah. So now that I've got the Lola out of the dirt and I'm looking at, I'm looking at it. Or looking at her in this arrangement. I'm not sure if I actually like her um, with these other ones. I think I'm just gonna put the Lola in there after all. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the Lola in there. So I'm just gonna kind of create as much as a well as I can. I'm gonna kind of just gently start filling in around her. So when I'm putting the dirt in here, I'm just making sure that none of the bottom row of leaves are actually sitting on the dirt, but that the dirt is up around her as much as possible. It would be much better if I was using my tweezers to put the top dressing rocks in around there to make sure that I'm not, you know, breaking off any roots as I go. However, they're in the house and I don't want to go in the house and get them. You would have thought at some point today I would have just gave in and went and got them. Because I'll tell you what, it is a lot easier to do this kind of stuff with tweezers, especially if you're worried about breaking off leaves. Or if you've got um, a succulent like these that have that dusty coating on the leaves because the second you touch it it comes off and you know it doesn't hurt the plant plant any it, it'll come back but it's just going to kind of look meh for a while so one done and one really big one to do yet all right so i'm going to deconstruct my largest arrangement i really didn't want to take him apart but as i started taking out the succulents that I had beheaded this morning, I noticed that some of the blue chalk sticks that I had in the middle of the arrangement were a little root rotty ish So I think my best bet is just going to be completely take this apart. I'm just gonna start kind of deconstructing this and I'll let you guys kind of just see. So this guy right here is the one that I'm a little worried about. And this guy's a little soft and then he has some darker leaves in the middle, so I think I'm gonna kind of set him aside. Another one that I was rooting, this was actually a Walmart rescue. And again, the roots were so saturated that I didn't even want to repot them with 
the roots that they had because they were so saturated that I just cut my losses, cut off the end. And as you can see, he's got some pretty nice roots growing on him. So this poor Lola, it started off really pretty. I had taken a couple succulents outside on a nice sunny day and then forgot to bring them back in on my lunch. And she unfortunately got pretty sunburned. I've had issues propagating Lola's by leaf. So that's kind of why I've left her as is. Um, so I don't know, what would you guys do? This is the one that I've been stressing about all day. I got a lot of succulents and they gotta all fit in this, in this container. Cause if they don't fit in this container, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Here's a vinyl countdown. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. So the roots on this guy are extremely shallow and he's very, very top heavy. All right, change of plan. So how often do you guys rearrange your succulents? I feel like once I get an arrangement done and I'm like, oh, that looks so nice. And then like a couple weeks later, I'm like, I need to do something different. I feel like I can never just be happy with the way I have it. I always have to be fussing with my plants. So this is another succulent that had really shallow roots because I had rerooted, rerooted her due to root rot from Walmart. Now what? I feel like this is going to be a very discombobulated arrangement. But so I'm going to kind of just go through and plop in a few of the taller random succulents that I have just to give me a better idea of kind of what I'm working with here. Then I have some of this stuff too that I might, it needs to be desperately repotted so I might take a little bit of this off at the end and let it kind of just drape over. Do you ever have so many succulents that you just feel overwhelmed and you don't even know where to start? That's how I feel right now. And then I've got a bigger jade plant. And this guy. I feel like I've got a lot of the same shape of succulents. So instead of starting in the back, kind of with like a, a focal point, um, like a tall, dramatic, focal point succulent. I'm going to start in the front by sort of layering my succulents. I can tilt them outwards a little bit to hopefully kind of help me figure out what I want to do with this guy, quite honestly. So I'm going to take my ripple jade. So my camera died the other day when I was putting together all of my arrangements and unfortunately I had wanted to get all of my succulents compacted down into one arrangement and I ended up with three. So I'm not going to consider it a fail <laughs> because I did get it from about I think I had 13 containers of different you know succulents in each down to three so I mean it is a pretty good downsizing uh, but I just wanted to give you show you what they ended up looking like this guy pretty much stayed the same except I put this Lola in here and then I did swap out uh, the one succulent that Jack and Hank kind of trampled on while I was in the process of putting these together and this was the second one that I ended up doing. Um, 
you know, my burrow's tail was looking pretty nice. You know, it's not the prettiest arrangement I could have ever done, but it'll do for the time being. Because like I said, the goal was to try to <laughs> get most of my succulents down into, you know, I was aiming for one large arrangement, but three isn't bad. And this is the third arrangement that I ended up doing. I've actually got it hanging up in the corner of the sun porch right now, so I don't want to take it down because it is heavy. Um, and it's hitting the wind chime too. Oh, sorry about that. But. So I think yeah, that's what I ended up with for succulent arrangements. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching my struggles of trying to figure out how I was going to combine all of those succulents into one <laughs> arrangement. So all in all, I think they turned out really nice and I'm really happy to have my table on my sun porch back. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will be sure to give you updates on how these arrangements are doing and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Uh, my last two videos. Hey. Hey everybody. Welcome to Graceful Plants. And if you've made it this far, you'll know by now that I'm losing my mind today.